I had the brilliant idea just to kind of test our lineup. Actually, you know, I'd been in three finals, our teams had been, and we'd lost in the final each time. So I wanted to make sure we had the exact right team in there. So uh, we put in a setter who turned out to be a decent setter. He made it to our, on our, to our Olympic team and played internationally for years, Dan Greenbaum. I put him in against Hawaii. We promptly lost that match. <laughs> And then we played uh, UCSB away, our last league match. We'd already sewn it up, and in those days, if you won the regular season league, you were in, and then the, the next four teams played in a regional, and we lost up at UCSB. So after 16-0, um, lost our last two, so we carried a lot of momentum into this final four. Um, <laughs> So, you know, we get there and we beat the Midwest team, Ball State, readily. And as you saw, um, you know, incredible comeback. But just a few things, I kind of looked at the, some of the stats. And, um, you know, we had the best offensive middle blocker in the nation in Tom Duke. He was a junior. And Brian Ivey was basically the best defensive middle blocker. Uh, Duke got the most sets of anybody on our team throughout the year, which is Fairly unusual for a middle, if you guys look at your set ratio. Um, Ivy got the third most sets. Um, now, we didn't have the dominant opposite that, that's in the game now, but I think the balance and our ability to get the ball to the middle was pretty incredible throughout the year. Um, Jen Kai Lu, uh, who's no longer with us, was um, probably the most dynamic outside hitter that I've ever had the opportunity to coach. Um, and then Chris Martz, uh, again, another uh, teammate that we lost, um, probably the best pure athlete. I mean, he, he really wasn't a volleyball player. He was just a pure, raw athlete, quickest feet, you know, quickest arm. He played middle for us, he played opposite, and just phenomenal. Um, but, so, super talented team. We had. Let's see, Nick Becker on that team, who went on to play on the, our Olympic team, didn't you know play back row for us. Uh, Dan, as I mentioned, uh, Brian Ivey went on to an Olympic team. Tom Duke played for a national team and internationally. Um, so I guess I'm happy I didn't screw them up because um, we we definitely had the talent. And I can remember you know in that after we'd lost in three finals in a row and losing the first two games and being down in the third before we made the sub, I was, I was kind of trying to think of, well, how am I going to do this? Am I going to use a belt, a gun? I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was not looking good at all. But Lauren Somm came in there and, and uh, had the match of his life and gave us a lot of energy. And as, as Jeff said, uh, we had a you know, small setter. Um, we moved him around back in those days. We'd, set, we'd block him right, block him left, and um, it was kind of a guessing game. And, and he had a critical block late in the game, which was a lot of fun. Um, but super proud of these guys, and uh, it was just a phenomenal year. Thank you. Yeah. And actually, a core of this team, actually, you know, a good chunk, uh, Dan, um, Leon, Nick, uh, Brian Ivey won a championship two years later uh, with, the, with some other fill-ins around. <laughs> yeah. So, a great, great team. All right? All right. Thanks. And I've asked Mr. Lawrence Hom to come on up and address the team and say oh, a few words and bring I'll, us back I'll, to that moment. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep it short, though. Uh, I know you guys got things to do tonight. So, uh, one thing to you, Coach, for having us tonight. One, great win, guys. Keep it going. Uh, want to see you guys ha see it happen. First loss next week, Long Beach. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things that, you know, people ask is, you know, well, what, did, what was great about your team? What was, you know, what, what made this team special? And it's always, it's, it's about the family, the camaraderie, uh, that kind of, in our opinion, kind of took it over, uh, took it to the next step. And as Bob said, we kind of 
staggered at the end, you know, but I think we all pulled together to, to kind of reach that final goal. And, uh, you know, the, I think at the end of the season, you kind of reminisce, you kind of like, hey, we're, 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 we did this, did this for our group, our little family of, of uh, team. And then you put it in perspective, you know, 31 later, years later or whatever, you're a part of history. And that's one thing that you can't take away. It's like we're one team of the 125 championships of this school that make this school special. So, you know, uh, you know, to be part of the Trojan family the whole bit with your teammates, to be part of the tradition, you know, that, that's, that's, that's a big part of it. So thank you for having us. Good luck the rest of the season, guys. You know, it's one of these things that you guys all fight for. And, you know, uh, I know a few of us have them on today and things like that, but that, that's... That's one of the big goals. So good luck the rest of the year. Fight on, guys.